very warm welcome to the hollow deck of the virtual reality show by Hollow Art World. Using examples from the oeuvre of Christine Kunkler, we will show you that enigmatic artworks try to lead us to the great questions of humanity, to deeper thinking, and finally, to a reflection upon ourself and our human condition. The first impression of the action installation called Flame Tree certainly reminds one of an environmental project. Insofar as the visitors regard themselves as part of nature, they can write their name on a petal and strew it out before the tree, thus participating in the project itself. The installation itself, however, encapsulates the entire concept of enigmatic realism. Using the analogy of two biblical stories, in other words, the burning bush and Moses and two tablets with the laws, the two stone tablets of the flame tree contain the introduction to how one should approach art. Art here is understood as enigmatic realism. But when is art enigmatic? The first tablet makes it clear to the viewers that one needs to become active oneself in order to be physically and mentally able to approach what is shown. This self-activation is a prerequisite for the viewers to have an enigmatic experience. The second tablet describes the change of the physical, superficial reality of the objects when entering the world of enigmatic realism. Nature, for instance, can take a completely new dimension and change into something holy, mysterious, or magnificent. Hence, by means of that change, the viewers can experience the actual topic of the artwork in a new, profound, and unexpected way. Image and text together lead from the physical reality of the artwork to further thoughts, also to thoughts which will not be described here, but which certainly exceed the mere mishmash of material and color. Such a metaphysical dimension one can also find in the work called The Spirit of the Statue. The topic of this painting is freedom of thought and freedom of opinion. All this is personified in the Statue of Liberty, which is portrayed in a sketchy, dynamic manner. If you look at the painting more closely, you will find in the sea screaming suffering faces which are about to drown because where these people are at home there is no freedom the small white sailing boat which symbolically spreads the idea of freedom in the world has not yet anchored everywhere H5N1. Why does this image of a street, which is devoid of any human beings and cars, have such a strange title? The bird flu virus, H5N1, stands for all kinds of diseases and dangers which threaten humanity. Seen from this perspective, the painting approaches the mysteries of fear and death and how we deal with them. The painting Lovers does not depict a common image of love which we expect from a magazine, for instance. It seems to be rather an everyday image. Where, when, and what actually is love? 
It is an enigma about which there is much to say. One's own stories seem to continue the painting. The children of the image, the watchers, are representative of a whole generation which is used to so many forms of high tech, but which is as akinetic as no generation before it. Often, communication no longer takes place directly, but via communication technologies. Human beings become more and more speechless. The speedy developments of our world receive a big question mark with this momentary snapshot. What will be the values of future generations? This painting does not deal with two single children, but with the great enigmas, future, society, and language in its broadest sense. Each portrait of the girl, Anna, has a title, which leads every painting in a certain thoughtful direction. Thus, they are more than mere portraits. They are questions touching the origins, the aims, and the ephemeral moments in their ineffable individuality. Do we ever know the person with whom we are confronted? Enigmatic realism ties in with the actual primary role of art in the past. Art has always been an instrument used by theologians, philosophers, and hegemonic powers to give aesthetic expression to their ideas and achievements. In the 18th century, art was allegedly liberated from being a tool, and so the autonomy of aesthetics and art was declared. Enigmatic realism, however, states that art is, and has always been, above all, an instrument, which we use to transport fundamental messages, experiences, and spiritual or thoughtful contents. It cannot escape it. Essential thoughts about our human condition have not lost their explosive force and topicality, but in a secularized society, we find new modes of expression in order to think and talk about them. The exhibition or museum seem to be suitable locations for making this kind of exchange happen. Hence, an undenominational altar such as this women altar is not placed in a church, but on a neutral platform, which also touches religious feelings. The topic of the altar unfolds itself in the representation of the woman and water, which are symbols of the spirited and life-giving forces. Both elements are taken up by the altar and related to each other in various forms. The water basin stands for inner purification, the washing machine for the external process of cleaning. The front image shows a female nude dragging behind herself sketchy valuables which she cannot take with her into the fathomless depth of the sea, the symbol of eternity. The interior of the altar painting contains the depiction of a bridge above the waters on which each woman is accompanied by some dancing figure of death not only in the dance macabre during the Middle Ages, but also here and today, death is present. But where is the man? Eve is life, Adam the earth. There is no man depicted as man, but he is present in each image.
The artwork Limat Barracuda is part of the series of townscapes which discuss the topic of home. Why do we feel at home and at what sort of place? The image title, however, leads away from the idyllic atmosphere of a town to the dangers of the city and modern society. The barracudas in the limit are a metaphor for money barracudas in society. Money is probably the most comprehensive artwork to which everybody contributes in order for it to function. Or is money rather a belief in a piece of paper or a digital number. Barracudas ensure the power of the money and guarantee that we can enjoy and live comfortably in our cities. But in the end, do we by any chance feed the Barracudas with the crumbs of affluent society? And who actually rules whom? Do we rule over money or does money rule us? On the two times three meter large painting depicting New York on September 11th, one can see a flying airplane viewed from above, which like a haunting spirit continues to circle the world and calls for more and more victims. Around the towers and their reflection in the water, one can detect the wings of the plane. The spectral airplane seems to be already moving out of the painting with its tip. Victims of New York are not only found in New York. How can the atrocities be stopped in the world? It is a great enigma that human beings after all these thousands of years seem to not yet have learnt a lesson. The painting called Fast Food shows a derelict farmhouse before the modern shiny silhouette of Frankfurt. Elements of decay contrast with hectic activity to produce a dichotomy of lifestyles caused by the loss of traditions. The image has many mystic elements which inspire further thinking. With the artwork Argotti Gardens, which carries a special line underneath by Joe Frigieri, we have reached the end of this tour. The contemplation of the sky, which here is ascribed to the trees, again points to the mystery and openness of enigmatic realism. Let us recall Socrates. For him, the crucial feature for being truly human meant to ask questions, to question oneself, and to also keep wondering. And at this point of being amazed about the wonders of this world, we are very close to enigmatic realism, are we not? <laughs>